The D.C. City Council decided to now give illegal aliens the right to vote. Giving this right to illegal aliens as if our government is the Oprah Winfrey show. You get a vote. You get a vote. You get a vote. But when cities in Vermont pass the same provisions, when San Francisco, when nine Maryland cities brought up this provision, did the Republican Party corral all of Congress and bring this issue down to the floor for a vote? No, they did not. They are singling out the residents of the District of Columbia and expanding in the history of disenfranchisement that goes all the way back to the legacy of slavery, rich, so rich to hear the other side discuss the sacred right of voting, discuss the, what our, our veterans and, and our service members fought for in the sacred right of voting while defending and continuing to defend the disenfranchisement of American citizens in D.C. for their right to vote. They don't believe in the, in the, in the actual enfranchisement and voting rights for D.C. residents who are U.S. citizens, and yet we, they have the audacity and the gall to not just continue in that position and claim they believe in, in the sacred right to vote while denying that right to vote for an overwhelmingly black city, but then expanding their position, expanding their position so that in direct contradiction of their quote unquote conservative values of small government and defending freedom have decided to expand the jurisdiction of this body to meddle into the, the, the business of D.C. residents. The D.C. City Council has the right to determine its policies for D.C. residents. And if any member of this body does not like that, they, are feel, they can feel free to change their registration, resign their post, and run for D.C. City Council. And for those who are residents here of Washington, D.C., they could have, as the ranking member stated, gone to any one of the many hearings on this issue. I understand that there may be disagreement. I understand that, uh, that, that Republicans may not be happy with what the DC City Council is doing. But when cities in Vermont pass the same provisions, when San Francisco, when nine Maryland cities brought up this provision, did the Republican Party corral all of Congress? They are singling out the residents of the District of Columbia and expanding in the history of disenfranchisement that goes all the way back to the legacy of slavery. And they're bringing it right here to this floor because why? They don't have any real bills to debate. We're not here to talk about health care. We're not here to talk about abortion. We're not here to talk about voting rights. We're here to talk about the expansion and the continued subjugation and disenfranchisement of the people of the District of Columbia. Let them govern themselves. And with that, I yield back to the ranking member. They're going to bring us a whole series of these disapproval resolutions for the people of Washington, D.C. They don't want to vote in Washington, D.C. They don't want to live in D.C. They can move to D.C. and run for D.C. Council if that's their interest. But no, they just want to lord it over the people of Washington. So they don't like the District of Columbia's voting rules, and they don't like the criminal justice reform they just engaged in uh, for a period of a decade with judges and lawyers and the D.C. bar and the people participating. They don't have a hearing on any of it. They just want to decree that they're going to strike it down.